Hi, my name is Tim Uner, and I'm the Director of Music Ministries here at the First United Methodist Church of Jackson, Michigan. This is Food for Thought on Friday, June 26th. So I have a confession to make. Well, maybe not so much as a confession, but rather a self-realization. When it comes to technology, I can be a moron. It simply doesn't come natural to me. I try to tackle new things, but if it fights me, then I throw my hands in frustration and say, why isn't this working for me? Why can't I do what my kids were born knowing how to do? As their dad, shouldn't I have been the one to teach them these skills? When did they become the knowing parent and I the clueless child? A couple of weekends ago, I was struggling with my cell phone. My cell phone is old and it doesn't hold the charge very well at all. So each night I try to clean out old emails and searches, which has always been a simple process. One weekend, I decided to be daring and to explore the never regions of my phone. And somewhere along my exploration, I must have pushed something I shouldn't have. Suddenly cleaning out old searches was something that my phone simply wasn't going to let me do. I spent a weekend trying to figure out how to put things back. I'm here to tell you that a smartphone is only as smart as the person holding it. Finally, in frustration, I called a young member of our chancel choir. After I explained my dilemma, he was able to talk me through it, and in less than 10 minutes, he had helped me to restore the function on my phone. I like to think that I have a decent level of intelligence, but during this time of social distancing, I've been forced kicking and screaming into the 21st century. I now feel like I'm an expert in Zoom. Well, maybe not an expert, that's too strong a word. But considering that two months ago, I have never, never heard of the word Zoom, at least not anything that didn't evolve speed. So I've come a long way. But what has really pushed me over the edge is actually these Friday Food for Thoughts. When Reverend Tanya asked me weeks ago to do a couple to give her a break, I agreed. But I reminded her that getting them to her would be a challenge for me, technologically. Initially, I had Michael and Tori, my son and daughter-in-law, record my messages on their iPad and send them off to Reverend Tanya for her to post on Facebook whenever she needed a break. Then I got daring and tried to do the recording myself here in my office. I had mixed results. I was eventually able to record the message but struggled to send them to Reverend Tanya so that she could post them. Then the day came when Reverend Tanya tried to talk me through the recordings and posting process by way of a phone call. I realized that once we got to step 12, that there's no way that I could even begin to remember step one. Now hearing this, a lot of you are probably laughing right now, but I'm willing to bet that many of you can feel my pain. I sure hate to be the one to prove the old adage about teaching old dogs new tricks, but it was certainly proving true with me. Reverend Tanya tried to give me her verbal instructions but I was having a hard time just trying to find all the icons that she was referring to. All the while, frustration and fluster were creeping in. We all learn in different ways. For me, when learning something new, I need to see clear instructions to follow. Just verbal instructions only simply won't do. I need to see the instructions. Once I do it, okay, maybe two or three times, I have a much clearer understanding of the process. The process is never easy, and I have to thank Reverend Tanya for her patience and understanding with all of my phone calls to her to answer my many questions, like, this worked for me five minutes ago, why can't I hear anything now? Frustration is my enemy, it's my Achilles heel. And for me, frustration turns to anger which stops the learning process cold. So I know that right now these food for thoughts should have an element of prayer in them. 
but maybe we all need to pray for ourselves that we'll have the patience to learn new things and to pray that others will have the patience to help us grasp these new skills. The skills I found sufficient three months ago just aren't enough right now. It's time to learn new skills that will help me to reach people. It's hard, and all the kicking and screaming surely it hasn't helped me one bit. I sure pray that God will give me the courage to try, the patience to persevere, and the people to teach. Maybe there are people you know who haven't been able to join us in our virtual worship on Sundays because the technology skills are not there or they simply don't even have the technology. Are there some ways that you can connect with them so that they can still feel a part of our church family? I'm sure that there may be many who are dealing with a feeling of isolation right now. A phone call or a simple handwritten note will go a long way for them to feel like they've been remembered and not forgotten. For me, I have to open myself to the realization that the skills that I possess today may not be enough for tomorrow. So I guess it's time for this not so old dog to learn some new tricks. And if you're watching and hearing this food for thought post on Facebook, well then I guess that I've learned something new. How about you?